Welcome to another IC Station review video. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, I got two separate products. One was the power supply and the other one is this LiPo balance charger. And I picked this up uh, because I have an electric scooter and for this electric scooter I'm using two of these ZP uh, 500 milliamp hour 5S LiPo batteries. So it has the LiPo charge controller and it has, I think it's called the Dean's connector. And I have two of these and let's just quickly summarize what the pros and cons of this product in case you are not interested to view the entire video. So I have to admit I haven't done a full testing because what I learned from other videos is, is usually the balance charge functionality is something which is missing uh, from these products. I mean, they usually have a chip which does the over voltage and the, you know, the over current and the low voltage protection, which is all fine. But the balance charging is, is most probably something which is missed. And based on my very, very simple testing, I think this is a good and working balance charger. So that is definitely a pro for me. The other thing is, it's very, fairly small. I expected this to be bigger uh, based on the picture, but it is really small. I mean, you can see compared to the batteries that, you know, it nearly fits and it's not thick at all. I mean, probably the JSD connector is the thickest part and, and the solder joints on the, on the back. So it makes it a really compact design. And I think, well, again, based on my limited knowledge, it looks like that it actually delivers the promises that were stated on the listing because I had some reservation that whether you know those are all true especially that the marking on the chip is removed so I couldn't really verify whether they are using a chip which you know has the specs what they claim and probably that's the only cons that I will mention that I couldn't really verify based on the data sheet that this uh, unit can really deliver what it it does other than that as you can see it's a fairly small and simple unit there appears to be only a single main uh, chip on it which probably like a custom designed uh, chip for LiPo balance chargers or LiPo batteries or battery management chips. And I'm assuming this could be probably some sort of, you know, copy of that because the markings have been removed for, you know, God knows what reasons. Other than this chip, there is a lot of switching elements here and all the others are probably, you know, passives or, you know, monitoring voltages and, you know, a couple of probably caps, really small stuff in here and there's nothing on the other side. And so as I said, I was a little bit reluctant in the beginning because um, um, I wasn't sure if I can really trust the listings and all the claims that they made. And I tried looking for this number, which is YH2204A on, uh, on Google. And I was only able to find the very similar product on AliExpress, which appeared to have sort of the same specs and the same listing. And other than that, there was yeah pretty much nothing. A couple of Russian videos which I didn't understand. So I set about to test the balance charger functionality, and I did this by basically hooking this up to my uh, battery, running through the charge cycle using the the this uh, power supply that I reviewed in a previous video, and um, and I measured the ch uh, cell voltages before and after. And it seems that the, well, I, I mean, I have to say this is a fairly new battery. So the, the, the cells were pretty much balanced. So they were just a couple of, uh, um, I think pro probably 0 0.1, 0 0.01 volts off. And then when I finished the charging again, they were 0 0.01, you know, volts um, of each other. So it, it looks like that the, you know, all the cells in this pack are still in balance. And hopefully that's the job of the balance charger. It's not because the fact that these are, these are fairly new batteries. But then I hooked up the battery to like a proper charger as well. You can see the videos later on. And the proper charger was only, I managed to put an extra like 10 or 11 milliamps, which is, yeah, pretty much nothing. So it, it appeared for the proper charger that these batteries is, are fully charged and, you know, everything is fine. So, um, yeah, so that means I'm happy. It, it is working. It seems to be working. As I said, I haven't tested the all the other functionality because my electric scooter definitely doesn't draw 50 amps. So I would never be able to go over the current limit unless I short circuit something. And I never drain the batteries low enough so the low power uh, protection kicks in. But other than that, I've done the 
uh, the wiring. As you can see, there are a couple of wires already attached. The unit came with this JST connector with some wires at the end. And I realized that this JST connector is not the same size as the JST connector or, or, or on the balance charger. So I had to do this uh, very simple adapter, which is basically the supplied lead, which had um, you know, just the, the wires at the end. So I soldered a couple of female pin headers so I can connect it up like this. The colors on the supplied cable and the wires on the balance charger or the balance connector is not the same. So I just matched the black with the black and, and then everything was working fine. And as you can see in the video, I could see that the current uh, gradually winds down. So that is probably the, uh, the proof that the unit was actually switching the various cells off when they reached the maximum voltage. And also you can see the wiring diagram on the, on the listing. But uh, here we have C minus, which is the charge minus, and then the P minus, which I haven't used that. So that basically goes to the load. And that's the B minus, which goes to the battery. So I'm using some thin wires, but I'm only charging with, with you know, just a couple of amps. And then the positive goes into the positive of the charger. So this is how the, the whole setup looks like. <clears throat> this goes to the battery. Also the balance charger goes to the battery and the other two terminals go to the charger. So the, the, this charger is connected on the negative side. So the positive goes straight to the battery and then the same applies for the load as well. So you connect the load straight to the battery positive and then the, the load negative goes to the P minus connection here. And there is one extra connection here on the top left. And uh, there is no mention of this in the IC station listing, but actually I found some documentation where it says that you can connect an NTC temperature sensing element. So it can also monitor the battery temperature and it would cut off the charging if the battery heats up too much. But then I think you also need to remove this resistor or something. So I will find the, uh, the documentation for that online. This is the listing of the charging module on icstation.com. So it says 5S 3.7 volt polymer lithium ion battery, 18.5 volts, 50 amps, charging protection balanced function board. So it says it does balancing and does all sorts of protection. And by the way, it says 3.7 lithium polymer. There is, um, there is also a different version, which is for lithium phosphate. So if you just, uh, you know, search for I5S and, and battery, you will see that they have a couple of different models. Um, I mean, yeah, for different applications, but you know, slightly the, uh, the same, uh, sort of the same layout and, and also, you know, the, the same functions as in balance charger and protector. And now you see the absolutely highly scientific test that I've done on the charging circuit release. So here I'm measuring the cell voltages and as you can see, it's 3.77, 3.78 on all the cells and now connected it to the balance charger and the, and the DC-DC converter. I also have this uh, a simple indoor-outdoor temperature sensor. As you can see, it was quite a hot day. Uh, it was uh, quite hot in the garage, but then it hardly even risen like even five degrees above ambient. So uh, of course, as you can see the amps, it's not really, there wasn't really high current. And then, um, I think the, the power supply was also uh, limiting uh, or getting the, the maximum power. So the voltage was slowly rising as the amp started to ramp down. And this is the second battery now. So you can see that the, the amp started to go down slightly. It doesn't go down to zero in this case. There is always like a, I think it ended up like a 17 milliamps at the end. And once I have done with the charging, I also put the charger into my proper charger. And as you can see, it shows 11 milliamps for this battery and one milliamp hours, sorry, milliamp hours that it can, you know, put in as additional charge. And then after that, of course, I measured the cell voltages again, and it was uh, 419 and 420 on all the cells, which means that all the cells were pretty much at the same voltage, which for me, it means it's all balanced. That was my review of this IC Station 5S LiPo balance charger. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.